Hello, good afternoon, everyone. It's Carla. I am Carla, the Cosmic Crone, and I'm uh, coming with you live for a moment. There I am. Okay, I want I want to share this over into my group if I can figure that out. Um, so let's see if that works. Yes. I can't see because in measure. Huh, this is interesting. Facebook has changed things again. Um, so hang on. I'm going to spend a minute learning this. Ah, it makes me not even want to. Somebody seems to be watching with me. Excuse me while I figure out Facebook's new live video interface. I may just give it up. I may just not be able to figure it out. Um, this is showing up as me. And I, and I want to show up as my page, I think. So. It makes me not even. I think this will do it. In a group, that's what I want. Good. Yes, and let's click and make it go there. Okay. So let's see if that works. I don't even know what I just did. But hi. All right, I am here because it's a very special time. It is, oh, well, so is Venus is retrograde. It's eclipse season. We, the moon is sailing overhead in the middle of the night as a half moon, which means that in a week it's going to be a full moon, which will be a lunar eclipse. And two weeks after that will be a um, solar eclipse. And these are really potent times. And the world is changing all around us. And wise women leading are incredibly necessary. And I am, in five days time, I am starting Sex After Menopause, the second iteration. And I want to tell you about it. I, um, the, it's been open for a little while, but we've had some issues around the, um, the web page not quite working right. So I've been just kind of holding back, holding back. Well, all of that's fixed as of yesterday. So five days to enroll seven women, and then we start. And so I am going to have a blast with this. I am so excited about what we're going to create together in Sex After Menopause. I am incredibly excited about what I created in the first round with the women who came in in March and April and early part of May. And it's time to do it again with a whole new group. And I want you to understand a little bit more about what we're creating, how it's working, what you'll get, who it's for, all the things. So I did some journaling around it to tap into what is the unique power of sex after menopause. And yes, it is a program. It is a container that I create, a place where I do the healing work. It's also a thing in itself. It is a phase of your life. It is a part of who you are and how you are living in this world at this time. So, I'm... I want to talk to you about who it's for and the kinds of things we address in sex after menopause. First off, 
It is an intimate group of women. I have seven seats that I'm offering this time. Uh, and it will not go more than that. And I fully expect that all seven seats will be filled because this is really important work right now and women are asking for it. And what we do is we work with our sexuality and in the unique flavors and circumstances we find ourselves as women post-menopause. And so I make these seats available for women who are, you've already had your last period, you know you're in menopause, which means at least a year since your last period. Uh, it could be that you've had surgical menopause from a hysterectomy. It could be that you're not there yet, but you know that any period could be your last. That went on for a long time for me. Um, and so you can already feel the shifts. There's, there's like so many phases of perimenopause. It can start as early as 35 and keep going through 55 until all of a sudden, that's the great mystery of menopause. You're in it. It's happened before you know that it's happened. It is such a time of birth and growth and such a gateway to power and transformation. And yet, we women are in the throes of misinformation, of being caught between who we were and who we don't know that we are yet. The world is expecting things from us, our, the people in our lives, our children, our spouse, our parents, our job, ourselves. And we, we tend to think, I am a screwed up mess. I can't do anything. <laughs> so, so this is, this is where we find ourselves and you don't have to do this alone. This is, there is great medicine inside of all of this and, it, and most of it is created by modern life. I don't think our ancestors had the same issues because they were revered and they had initiation. And my work in the world is to provide that initiation for you. So the women that I'm talking to right now, you're a lot like me. You're, you have a very similar background to me. Um, one of the big things that happens is that you you probably grew up in a conservative religion that had very restricted ideas about who a woman is, what a woman's sexuality is about, and what a woman is supposed to be doing with her life, how she's supposed to show up. And I call this the Eschen Sessions, oppression, suppression, repression. And it trained us to do all of this to ourselves. So even if you walked away from the church as a teenager or a college student or a young adult, you are still carrying all those Eschen sessions inside of you. I know that I was, I know that I still am. In fact, when I journaled a few minutes ago, I was tapping into all of that because sometimes that comes up and wants to shut my mouth right now and tell me that I am making a big mistake showing up for you. Yeah, it, so, so what happens? I, I tapped into my soul. What does my soul really want right now? My soul wants to confront all of my fears and show up because this is my life's work, my soul purpose, what my friend Marina set calls my soul work. And I have to just sit down with my fear and show up anyway. Does that sound familiar to you? Telling the truth. So you probably grew up with a re religious lies, omissions, oppressions, suppression, repression. And then you're, you probably also came of age with a, during 
feminism. So depending on your exact age, in the late 60s, early 70s, there was free love. There was the second wave of feminism. On through the 70s and early 80s, there was another layer of social justice and uh, just an, an incredible explosion of what seemed to be freedom in the world. And I definitely grew up, I was in college, I uh, had a work study job in college as the assistant to the local president of the National Organization for Women. She was a professor, a feminist, she blew my mind and she opened my mind in many ways. And I also realized that feminism got a lot of things wrong. Or let, let me rephrase that. Part of the problem, okay, we're not going to go deep into what feminism is and is not, but what I recognize now from where I sit is that we were looking for justice and equality for women within a structure of patriarchy. And you're not going to find it there. Uh, it's going to twist everything. You're going to make yourself fit as a woman, as a feminist, into the prevailing model. So if the model is designed to work well for men, then women have to be more like men. And that was across the board. And even though there, it was the beginning also of the return of goddess worship and the divine feminine, she was making her appearance. I didn't see her much then because that's not where my, I was taking the first steps, but mostly I was in a more intellectual place with it at that phase of my life. Uh, so the, go the goddess was starting, Wicca, witches, uh, all of that was beginning. Sexual freedom was there, but we didn't know what that looked like for women. And how I interpret it is that I got to have the same kind of freedom a man had, which was really wrong for women. Wrong as in not a good fit. It didn't fit the way we are designed sexually. And it left me feeling <clears throat> a great deal, <coughs> excuse me, a great deal of inadequacy and frustration because neither my soul, my libido, my sense of self, or my orgasmic self, my entire, uh, the way that I worked sexually, the way that any woman works sexually, none of that is like a man. None of it. And, or I say none, we'll, we'll say 99%. We women can actually show up just about any way we want. We are wildly varied and different. So, and yet, if we think that sexual freedom for a woman looks like the same as it does for a man, we are really missing, uh, we're missing the full truth. And it, it has taken years, both for feminism, for science, for medicine, and for women, each of us individually, to realize, oh, we're not men. <laughs> we, don't, we don't do sex the way men do it. Um, and that's physically, emotionally, and spiritually which is why I do the work that I do to help you figure that out inside of yourself. So this, this created, first we've got the patriarchy, um, a lot of it in the, view, in the um, worldview of religious patriarchy, and then feminism inserted into patriarchy, which gave us a lot of mis, um, wrong information just wrong information. We did, we tried really hard, but it wasn't working. And I see some of you are coming on, but my, I'm going to stay focused here. Um, and I will talk to you all later as you're on. So what else, what else happened? Um, oh, the society's burdens of the woman. 
And you've heard me talk about the feminine wound if you've been following me. There's that. And uh, so we'll, we'll look in Sex After Menopause, we will look at the feminine wound and how has it impacted you and what are you, what are you going to do about it now? If you haven't healed it yet, it's time. Um, also, the burden of goodness. <clears throat> because we all, we women, especially we women in midlife, we really carry the burden of the good woman the good wife, the good daughter, the good mother. And then we add that to all the other ways that we're supposed to be good and not only good, but better than a man. We're going back to the, um, the feminist problem. Um, I am a feminist, by the way. I am just pointing out that feminism as a window dressing for patriarchy did not serve us. We need a foundation-breaking kind of feminism, which is what I stand for, and which is why I teach about sexuality, because it gets to the root. And so, uh, so yeah, good woman, good mother, good wife, good daughter. And the women... The women who were in the first round of Sex After Menopause, they each had their version of that. And for some, it was more the good daughter. For some, it was more the good wife. For some, it was um, the angst of rejecting all that and yet feeling guilty about rejecting all that. So we did, we all have our work to do around that. And I believe that's why the wild woman memes that show up so much on social media, why they appeal to us and attract us so much because we are all fucking sick and tired of being the good woman. I know I am. And I even had a big dream about it a couple of weeks ago where my good woman was literally being killed by what I thought was a very bad man, but it turns out that's not what was going at all. What happened was she needed to die. Um, Neither of them needed to die. We, we worked it out in waking life, but um, man, what a dream. So uh, this is just some of it. These are some of the big ones. Maria Jose Romero from Ecuador. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's been years. I hope you're still dancing. I hope you're safe and you're good and your family. Um, so Facebook is so wonderful. Social media is fabulous. I love it. <laughs> um, so sex after menopause, we, as a woman, you are carrying all of these burdens and you may be feeling one of them more than the other. You may be feeling all of them. You may be fighting all of them. You may be exhausted from it. But here's what I do know about you. If you are in my world, you are called to a mission. Women, women who are, thank you. Women who are not feeling that mission and purpose, even if you don't know what it is yet, you're usually not talking to me. And so what does this have to do with your sexuality? Well, it has to do with how you have kind of had to twist yourself or squish yourself into all these roles I just talked about. And that includes your sexuality. Your sexuality is your resource, your divine feminine, your sense of power, your sense of divine connection, your knowing, your soul. So if you are somehow feeling caught between this good woman role, the person you have been for the last 50 years, and this person that is kind of calling you forward and wondering what it's going to cost you because you may feel like you have a lot to lose. You may have a, you know, a long relationship, a marriage, a career, a sense of identity, that is 
feels very much at risk at this stage of midlife. And that in itself can impact how you feel about yourself sexua sexually. And then we've all got the physical things going on and, and it's different for all of us. The hormone shifts, the symptoms of menopause, hot flashes, dryness, libido, these are things that can drive us crazy and our doctors may have very limited support for us. Take a hormone, take a pill, take a tranquilizer, have some surgery, um, get rid of that uterus, you don't need it anymore. And that sounds very callous, much more callous than many doctors are. So I know that many of you are quite wonderful and you know better. But I can, gosh, I can remember one of the women when I was in college who um, she was having, I don't even know, was it bleeding? I don't remember exactly, but she was going in for a hysterectomy at the age of maybe 45. Uh, and it was literally, you don't need it anymore. Why not just get rid of it? And she was like, okay, fine. Sounds great to me. And the women that I work with, many of them, we do womb work. And sometimes we are healing a womb where the physical orgas orga orgasm organ is not there anymore. And so we work with the energetic womb, which cannot be removed. And, uh, and sometimes, you know, that path to healing, it was, it was necessary. We carry things in our wombs. And sometimes if there is no other way to do the healing work, then surgery becomes a necessary option and or either not an option just necessary and so then we have layers and layers of healing work to do around well why was that an option some women feel a sense of failure they feel a sense of relief they feel realize that oh there's a new set of problems physical mental emotional and spiritual this is the work I do, and this is the work that we're doing in sex after menopause. So, you are a woman on a mission, and you are a woman for whom the healing is up, and this can be ancestral. It will be ancestral. It can be your own past. It can be years of bad sex. It can be childhood abuse. It could be that one horrible incident that you still blame yourself for, even though it wasn't your fault. It could be birth trauma, giving birth. Uh, we women have been traumatized around our wounds, our vaginas, our sexuality as a matter of course. And it's not been well understood because it hasn't been seen as important. Um, I did, uh, I was in a conversation on Facebook around Naomi Wolf, who wrote this book, Vagina. And it's, I think it's a great book and I recommend it to my clients. In fact, it'll be part of the reading list uh, that's optional for you if you are in Sex After Menopause because she covers so many things about the vagina that none of us learned anywhere else. And yet there was backlash. Women are listening to their vaginas. Hell yes, there is no smarter part of your body than your vagina. She knows your vagina and your womb. It's not just a sheath for a penis. It's not just something that gets cancer. It's not just something that opens up to 10 times its normal size so a baby can come out. It's not something that means you're less than the one that's born with a penis. Your vagina is a conduit of deep wisdom and knowing, potent pleasure, power, love, 
presence. And the more you can know about her, love her, love yourself, the more, the more you can be present in the world as a divine feminine woman. The more you can be the good woman who is powerful and takes no shit. So this is the work we do. This is the work we start in Sex After Menopause. We work together for 10 weeks and it includes sex education. It includes womb healing, womb clearing, working. We, we tap into the old stuff. And the other thing that it does is it puts your, yourself at the center of your sexuality, your sex life. So many of us have lived years and years and years with our sexuality being focused on our partner. And we, like so many other things, we deflect our pleasure. And if things aren't working, we think there's something wrong with us. We address all of that very directly in Sex After Menopause. And we find the solutions. And, you, and this is why you can do Sex After Menopause even if you don't have a partner because really this is about putting yourself at the center of your sex life. This is something, this is a personal growth, self-exploration, self-discovery program through your sexuality, through healing the old wounds, through having a new perspective on your life experience and becoming the new person in your relationship. And what's really beautiful is that every woman in the last uh, group they were all in long marriages and their marriages are changing and they're changing for the better and that's the way it worked and that's the way it worked for them and for some of you you may find that your marriage has to change dramatically as in end or you may find that your relationship has to change dramatically and you have to be, uh, you have to occupy a new space of leadership in your relationship and invite your partner to show up differently. And you know what? Your partners usually like that. And if they don't, that's something that you have to work with. It's, this is brave work. It feels like there's a lot at stake. But chances are, if you are considering a program and doing some personal work and some investment in this, then you are like I was 20 years ago in that you will do anything. You will do anything to fix this problem. I understood that my problem was I was broken, that my sex didn't work and there was something wrong with me and I was broken. And it broke my marriage because you cannot live with that feeling of brokenness and have a healthy relationship. And from the breaking of my marriage, I found a teacher, a healer, a woman who took me through a sacred initiation, which is one reason why I, it is how I learned how to do womb work, womb healing to work with sexuality as a healing modality for the whole soul, the whole woman. And I am forever grateful to her. Her name is Newt Tumuak Butterfly Dreaming and she is a um, priestess of African alchemy. She is a black woman and she saved my life. And I worked with her for many, many years and then went on to learn from other teachers and other modalities. Um, so I honor her and I honor the work that she instilled in me and the healing that she gave me. And it is my mission. She trained me so that I could bring this work to other people. And I thank you. I thank you for your bravery in saying, I am willing to risk everything to heal this in my life. 
I cannot go through the rest of my life with this sense of pain, however it is. And so chances are what you're feeling is much older than menopause and menopause has activated it all for you. Or it could be that you are just really in the throes of the change and everything is recalibrating, everything is shifting and you want to find your feet again. You want to get your libido back, your orgasms back. You want to have, now that the kids are gone, you're on the verge of retirement, all the things that most of us look now that you're stuck together in a pandemic at home, now that you may find that um, you may find that you are motivated to make things work because the world has changed and we don't know what it's changed into. Well, you know what? You can totally do that. And it's very likely that you're going to need some support. This is a brave and powerful and life-altering journey. So, uh, sex after menopause. Here's what we do. We, first off, we do assessments. Who's, who are the seven women who are going to be in this second round? What do you need? You could all be single. You could all be married. You could all be, you could all have hysterectomies or you could be a mix of all of it. So we will check in with who's here. That's why it's a small group so that I can customize the program for who's in the group and you can get the individual attention you need. And then we create the sacred container and we look at the history and I have very specific practices and exercises that allow you to tap into things that you haven't thought of that are important. And then you learn to love yourself and we do, we do sex education, what's going on in your body and what does your body need now. And what does it need differently now than it needed 10, 20, 30 years ago? Um, you learn te techniques and practices for pleasure. You learn, you tap into your orgasmic energy through pleasure, self-pleasure, uh, breath, movement, uh, we work with energy a lot. This is a very potent energetic practice that we do. We work with our wombs. We do womb clearing. And we work with communication. We work with self-love, self-worth, self-respect. We work with what's going on in our minds. We work with boundaries. So, and like I said, it depends on what you bring to it. And we work in the small group for 10 weeks. Um, if we need to, we can take a break for integration. Uh, it's kind of loosely in the calendar. Um, if we need it, we may not need it. Depends on who shows up and how the material is evolving within us. And we are co-creating something so incredible within this sacred container. We also, you also have the opportunity to invest in what I call the platinum, where you can invest in extra private sessions with me, which um, turns out to be a very good deal. So, uh, yes, it's a group, or it's a group plus private sessions. And we start next Thursday. Enrollment registration is open for five days. Um, the cart is ready. You can go to cosmicchrome.com forward slash Sam numeral eight week. I'll put the link in the comments so you can see it. Um, 
And so you can read more about what's in there. Uh, I think I've probably told you a lot more about what's in there than what's even on the page. You can look very carefully at the cost and the payment plans. I have extended payment plans that will allow you to afford it, uh, to bring it into the range of affordable for most people. So you can pay in full, you can do a two pay, you can do, I forget, I've got it open, let me see. Let me look at the payment plans. Yeah, it goes up to three pay and we could probably even extend that if somebody needed to, but the three pay, especially for the, um, the gold, the group only, is, is incredibly manageable. Um, this is, honestly, this is about 20% of what it costs to work with me privately. It's $1,000 for the group, $997 if you pay in full, and the payment plans can bring that well within your budget. And the um, Platinum, which includes four private sessions, is um, twice that. So that's $19.97. Uh, and that one definitely, if you needed to do an extended payment plan beyond three months, um, we could talk about that if you really feel like you need the private, the private work as well. It's really potent and you can go deep into your specific situation and uh, what matters to you. So these are the things that we are doing. We begin next Thursday, five days, seven women. Oh, and I almost forgot. There's something quite amazing going on. I'm doing bonuses. Uh, there are the bonuses that are on the page when you go to the page and read up and describe some of the supplementary material that I have as bonuses. But for today, if you are in and you say, and you enroll at any level, gold, platinum, three month payment plan, pay in full, you get a bonus of a divine feminine astrology reading with me. And that is $247 value, only the price is going up Monday. So uh, the value of that's going up as well. So it is, um, yeah, I'm offering that as an early enrollment bonus. And I think it would be so exciting if seven women said, I'm in and I want that bonus. You enroll today and you, you get the Divine Feminine Astrology reading. So if you were thinking about doing that with me, um, because I do offer them from time to time, well, you get to have it as part of your Sex After Menopause bonus material. Tomorrow, there will be a different bonus. Um, and the day after that, a different one. I think the Divine Feminine Astrology reading is the very best bonus of all. So go ahead and grab that one today. And that's, that's what I wanted to tell you. I wanted to give you some teaching around sex after menopause and what is going on inside of you and let you know how we're going to address it in the program so that you can become the wise orgasmic woman you are meant to be, a powerful elder, a woman on purpose, and a woman who has all of the replenishing power of pleasure at your fingertips, literally and figuratively. There's so many more moving parts to this and I can't wait to work with you and to co-create Sex After Menopause with you starting next Thursday. Go ahead and enroll today and get in line for your Divine Feminine Astrology reading bonus. And is there anything else I want you to know? Yes, there's so much I want you to know but I think you will have to come to Sex After Menopause and dive deep with me and let's find out. Oh, there is something I wanted you to know. If you're listening to this and you're saying, 
if this isn't me, I'm in my 30s, I'm in my 40s, I'm nowhere near menopause. Next Friday, I have something for you. So, oh, you're listening, Maria Jose. Thank you. you did you know this is what I do? We, we knew each other, what, 10 years ago uh, when you were in Maine um, doing your apprenticeship. So wonderful. So wonderful to see you. Reach out. I'd, I'd love to chat with you.